Some high school athletes have already taken the field before classes even start, and the State Athletic Association says there are no plans for a modified season. But the decision to play indoor sports or sports without masks goes against CDC guidance for high transmission areas. CBS 17's Gilat Malamed joins us live. And Gilat, are health experts concerned about the upcoming season? One health expert I spoke with says high risk contact sports should not be happening right now. This this comes as COVID as high school football started this week, but COVID-19 is already having an effect, including in Cumberland County, where school district officials said one game had to be postponed on Friday. The Friday night lights are back as COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to climb. The whole idea that there could be contact sports going on back at school is almost surprising to me. Like, in the history of bad ideas, this has to be somewhat near the top. The North Carolina High School Athletic Association has recommendations like social distancing on the bench and teams working out in pods. Why in New York City have vaccine requirements for certain high school sports, something Orange County schools considered but voted against. Do you think we should have a vaccine mandate for sports here in some capacity? I don't think this solves the problem. I don't. The vaccines are along a sequence, right? They're a layer of protection. The best protection is don't get infected to begin with. And that's keeping distance and masking. For most of the state, the CDC recommends canceling indoor sports or sports that can't be done without a mask unless all participants are vaccinated. UNC infectious disease expert Dr. David Wool recommends outdoor sports with six feet of social distancing. All these activities where you have one person and another person close together, you get transmission. That's what's happening nowadays. Dan Santarciero has three kids playing travel softball, baseball, and soccer, and says he doesn't think there should be masks or vaccine requirements to play. I'm not concerned uh, when there is a COVID outbreak, not on their teams or on another team. They, they put in whatever rules, someone, the teams don't play or they make different adjustments. So whatever needs to happen, happens. The state says that schools have the option to put stricter protocol in place. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, thanks, Gilad.